Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my single player vanilla 1.15.2 Minecraft series. How's everybody doing? Man, we're back here again. The last episode we had so much fun. We did a world tour, a world download, which is still in the description if you guys want to check it out. But if you haven't seen that world tour, go back, go ahead and check that out. We had so much fun exploring the last 25 episodes of builds and man, we were able to fit a lot of cool stuff here in this world for 25 episodes. Also, I've had the series for a very, very long time. So we have a season one and a season two playlist. So check those out. We have probably almost 200 episodes total, maybe a little bit more. I'm not even sure here in this world. So we have so many cool builds here. If you guys are new and you know what? We've had a lot of people join the channel since we last did this episode, which is about two weeks ago. So I was waiting for shaders to arrive and it's finally here. So we're able to play this world in shaders. So this episode, we're going to dedicate it to the shader. Look how awesome. But without further ado, Bubbles, let's get this episode started. Here you go, girl. That's my girl right there. Uh, so uh, if you guys are brand new here, let me know in the comment section. We have had had so many awesome new and amazing friends join the channel since we last did this thing we're at almost 220k subs which is crazy and amazing you guys are beautiful thank you all so much for the support and every time we do upload one of these single player worlds you guys do uh you show so much support and i love your face for it and also we just recently started our legacy smp so i've been really focused on that but don't worry that thing is not going anywhere we're having so much fun but also the single player world it's not going anywhere as well we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff here let me know what you want to see going forward but i got some plans let me show you what i got in store for this series so come with me. So one thing that I did plan at the very start of this season, season three, well, was to build up a nice little village for ourselves, and we've done that. We've done a really good job around here, adding so much life, adding so many details, and building a city from the ground up. Now, the next plan, the next phase of this season is to come up here and transform this village that we've had here sitting, hanging out. Villagers are still locked in, I hope, please. Are you, hello? You still in there? Yeah, they're still in there. Hold on. Are you still in there? Hello? Wait. Wait. Hello? There he is. He's waiting to get out. <laughs> nice. So we, Oh, he's even opening the door. So sad. So I've had them pretty much locked in there in prison for the longest time. They're ready to come out, but we're going to be upgrading this village the rest of this season. And until 116 comes out. Once 116 comes out, we're doing season four and that is going to be an amazing season the nether update we're going to be doing nether villages i can't wait we're going to be bringing overworld nether villages too which i haven't even mentioned yet but that's just a tease for stuff to come get ready for that one but right now i really want to focus on this village it's a really nice village it has a lot of really cool sight lines we got little dip downs we got this little hill over here that we could definitely play around with i want to upgrade all these houses i want to maybe do a little bit of a perimeter wall what's up is this bubble friend hey are you bubble friend you, you from with bubbles? Here, you can have that. Uh, but <laughs> just straight out, hang out here in the village. Um, I, I, hopefully, we get some kitty cats around here, okay? But this is the plan. I really want to wall this village off. So I'm thinking about walling it all off, uh, pretty much stopping right at this wall, probably, at this mountain here, and connecting it, making it almost like a little bit of an ovalish shape. Uh, do a little bit of terraforming here. Maybe later on, put a little bit of a castle up there. Oh, man. But I want to change the style. Not too much. Keep it very similar to what we've been doing here in this village. But this is more like a farming town. This is more like a little bit of a, a city build, but I want to keep the rustic medieval feel, but give it a little bit more personality. Uh, so first order of business, what I really want to do, I want to go ahead and wall this off. Not, I don't know if we're going to complete the whole wall, but at least get an idea. We're going to do some city planning. I'm going to get an idea where the walls are going to go. I'm going to get an idea where the extra builds are going to be going and what we're going to be making as far as builds here. And also we've been doing a tutorial series recently of upgrading villager profession houses i want to bring that series into this series we're going to merge series in a way i want to have a bunch of villager professions here i want to make custom houses that are specific to those villager professions but in its own unique style same concept but unique to this village and what is that dog doing are you hunting so that's the plan here for this village right here we're going to be making all the villager professions here we're going to be making a walled off area you want more chicken okay uh and we're going to have a lot of fun upgrading this spot Oh, and with 115 shaders, I think there's a little bit of a glitch going on right now with enchanted armor, or specifically enchanted diamond armor, I think. I don't know if it's every armor or just diamonds, but um, it's pink. Our armor's pink now. 
I think we can learn to live with it. That's fine. But, but also, I did put out an Easter egg hunt for our uh, world tour and the world download episode. And we had two people that won. Two people that actually found all the Easter eggs. We put 10 randomly scattered throughout the whole village. And we had two winners. And here they are. I said I was going to name a villager after you. And you did it. You deserve it. You're a champion. You're both a legends. Boom. Kalzar and Robster. So there you go. I'm going to name these villagers. Let me see if I can sneak in here. I'm not going to free them yet. I'm not going to free them yet, but I will name them after you. Boom. That's Kalzar. There you go. Um, no looking. No looking. No looking yet. Okay. And then here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and name Robster. Hey, what's up, Robster? That's Robster forever and ever. Hopefully you don't die. If you die, it's not my fault. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead uh, and do something else, though. Before we uh, do start upgrading this village and starting uh, the planning phase, I'm going to feed this dog. Oh, that's it. Uh, but <laughs> let's go ahead and do something that I think we need to do um, just for our sanity's sake. We need to go ahead and make a brand new sword. That's right. That's right, everybody. It's um, it's confirmed. Uh, my sword is gone. <laughs> everybody checked. After I gave the world tour and the download, everybody checked throughout the whole kingdom. Somebody even did some kind of world edit magic and got rid of every single uh, possible block except for barrels and chests and looked inside every single barrel and chest. It doesn't exist. It's gone. My stuff is gone. My sword is gone. I think what happened is I was probably doing some stuff and I probably did this. I like threw it on the floor and it just despawned and it's gone forever. So we're going to have to make a brand new sword. So that's fine. We rich in this place. So one, two, we're going to make a brand new sword. We're going to enchant it. We're going to see if we can make, do I have any backups? No, no, no good backups. Um, I'm going to make a brand new sword. That's right. Um, I just need sticks. There we go. And boop, boop, brand new sword. That's right. Oh, and everybody, um, Ariel is also here. So don't you worry. We're not going anywhere without our girl. <laughs> She's in both servers, man. She's crossing the server streams. That's right. Uh, I think it's okay to cross the streams when you're uh, a fish. That's okay. All right, so let's keep all this with us. And I'm going to need a little bit more materials, but that's fine. Let's actually go enchant some stuff. I think I have stuff to enchant uh, as far as like lapis in the other place, but you never know. I ain't walking back. Let's go over there real quick. Our bees. Oh, I haven't seen you guys in so long. How you been? Oh, look, it's baby Yoda. Oh, you the best. Oh, Justin Bieber, Beyonce. Oh, you guys are beautiful. I miss you so much. It's been so long. Oh, where's Obi-Wan? Anybody seen Obi-Wan? No? Okay. All right, here we go. Our enchanting room. Oh, man. This place has been nothing but bad luck except for the episode 25 world tour. We actually pulled out a really nice... Uh, oh, man. Imagine if I see my sword now. Hello? Just in case. Okay, just in case. Uh, but, yeah, in episode 25, we did actually come up with a really nice... Um, I think it'll pick... Oh, my God! Really? You know what? A lot of people said sausage. Episode 25 is where the curse got lifted. It got lifted. Now you're going to get nothing but good swords, good enchants, good picks, good armor. And we did it. Oh, look at that. Please be more than that. That is actually not that bad. It could be better, but it's not that bad. We got looting three, though. I can't be mad. We can upgrade the rest as we go along. That is so nice. Oh, let me... Hold on. Let me, let's me. let leave this stuff here. That is so nice. I'll leave all that in here. Oh, looting three. Wow. But you know what? I think we can make this sword a little better. So let's go really quick to our AFK fish farm. Uh, and I always forget what the what the way down is. Okay, let's go down right here. Let's see if we have any books so we can make this look a little bit better. Hi. <laughs> yes, you. That's right. Let's see what else. What, what else can we put on this sword? Also, right now, comment section. Do your thing. Give me all your names. Give me a name for this sword. Make it the best name ever. I'm not going to name it right now. I'll, I'll wait. But <laughs> let me know what to name this sword. Hopefully, we keep this one longer than we kept the last one. But there we go. Sharpness and... Knockback. Oh, we should put fire aspect. Do we have a fire aspect? Okay, no, it's not here. Okay, that's fine. Do we have anything here? No? Hello? No? Okay. Hey, fish. All right, let's get this started. I'm going to see if we can outline the wall first. And this can all be modifiable. There's nothing going to be set in stone, but at least a little bit of an outline. Oh, fresh, organic honey. It's delicious. Have some cow. So nice. Okay, so, um, <laughs> uh, and I don't want to make the walls too big. This is going to look, it's not going to look too crazy or too grand. We want to just give it a nice facelift. So I'm thinking definitely a little bit of a gatehouse, nothing too crazy, nothing too big as well. Um, and by making a perimeter wall now, it kind of limits us to just build within those walls. What we could do, we could do the opposite. We could build up uh, every house or every building, every structure individually, and then do a wall around it. But I kind of like having that wall at the beginning because then it limits yourself to be creative within that space. So that's what I want to do today so i want to i want to lay this down so right now this is technically the beginning right because we're coming in right from the farming area and we're coming right here so uh and these buildings are here so i'm probably gonna keep those but maybe space them out a little bit have a little bit more uh, at least a 
a better walkable space because right now if you notice it's really just a three <laughs> a spacer so i don't want to make it that tight i want to actually spread this out a little bit uh, i want to have a lot of uh, air in between the house i don't want to pack them too crazy big as well uh so let's do this i want to let's use that as the center this is going to be our center guideline right there so i'm going to give it a space of one two three let's drop that here and another one two three let's drop that here so a one two three four five six seven entrance gateway i think that is perfect so let's actually get rid of this and then uh let's see i'm gonna give it let's do a couple spaces here let's do a three spacer and then we could do a, like a little bit of a gate uh wall uh a gatehouse kind of thing or like a couple towers on each side i think right here uh we can go right from this corner actually it doesn't have to be that far let's actually go right here so a small gatehouse kind of thing let's make it like a little bit of a square boy right here something like this and we can thicken it out maybe uh i think a a small little five by five this is going to be very small i'm not going to make these too big so something like that and then we can do the same thing over here so let's make this go back a little bit more and we can play around with this so right about there one back from that section and then we're going to take this back right here and do another little five by five all right, so there you go. We got two five by five towers here. We're gonna put a little gatehouse in the middle uh, and it's gonna look pretty cool. So we got that done. Now let's give a rough outline of what this kind of surrounding area is gonna be. I'm not gonna lay out all the walls, but at least a little bit of an outline and let's see how we can make this look cool. All right, I think I'm happy with this outline so far, but really quick, uh, let's get up a little taller. All right, I think this is a good elevation. I think we're doing all right. So uh, there we go. So I actually made these uh, front gatehouses a little bit thicker. I think it'll be a, a lot better. Went all the way around this direction. We have a little tower here. So we've got a watchtower to look out towards this direction. We got the gatehouses looking this way. This kind of curves around this way. We got another watchtower to look out this direction. And this kind of curves and hits the, the end of this wall. This does the same thing over here, but then I want to put this really cool bridge that kind of goes from here to that part. And then this gets us up. I got a little makeshifts there to get up to this area and then we got a little tower here one on this side and one over here so three little towers and in this middle part we could put a really cool like castle design it's not gonna be too big nothing too crazy but something that'll look pretty cool i think um but yeah what do you guys think is this pretty awesome i think it's pretty awesome also i went back to our original uh season one part of the world and i did bring some dark oak saplings because i want to use dark oak i want to change it up a little bit it's going to be a little bit more darker roofs over here was a lot of lighter roofs so i did bring some dark oak so we could start uh doing some different style roofage over here but yeah this is looking really nice the only thing now uh we got to set up almost like a little bit of a road system or paths to to go from section to section i think we could do that with wool just to make it look a little bit cooler and it could stand out a little bit i got some wool over there all right let's lay out some paths so i already like this one that's already in place so we can take this going down we're gonna go straight up the middle and i think i really do like the way this is all set up we could definitely come down this way and then curve out and i really want to keep this bell here or this fountain and do like a nice little shrine kind of thing here so i do want to continue with this theme and keep this as the center of town so everything's going to lead to this little town center here so that's the path then since this is going to be the town center this is going to go probably a little bit of an outline little circle pattern kind of thing uh and then we could uh pretty much come back this direction uh this will kind of and this is all per, for now it's all organic we could definitely move it around as we go along so this will kind of swing around this way and i want to have like a little outer perimeter here i don't want to put it too close to the wall because i do want to build some stuff towards the wall so i don't want to go too much into this uh and we do need to do a little bit of terraforming i don't want to flatten it all completely i want to keep some elevation changes but i don't want to i don't want it to be too drastic like this is so high compared to that so we are going to do a lot of terraforming later on uh but as far as pathing let's let's continue this we're going to come back here i want this to kind of curve back this direction and come back down uh, and yeah, we definitely got to fix that drop there. Uh, and then this kind of goes off this direction. Another thing, this is going to be the center, right? So we're going to do another one kind of branching out this direction here as well. Take it back. And then I want this to kind of curve into uh, that path that we have our bridge going up here. So it's going to kind of go right there. Boom. And this is where the wall is too. So the cool thing is that what we could do is the wall can continue down this direction, kind of close it off right there. We could do like a little bit of a dam kind of thing. Uh, and then we can have the walkable space next to the wall kind of like attached to the side of the wall which is cool because you can look over the wall this way you can look over this way 
that's gonna be cool. So it's gonna leave this direction. So we got that. Uh, by doing this, then we have all the space to put housing uh, up in this area over here, which is really cool. And then we're gonna have to decide where to put the houses. Uh, and we could do it right now, or we could do it after we terraform and do the path thing, but we'll see. All right, no more dirt pillaring anymore. I went to our season two part of the world, our Asian inspired bamboo jungle, and I picked up some scaffold. Never again. So let's get <laughs> no more dirt for real. I couldn't take it anymore. But yeah, let's get up here really quick so I can show you guys what we have so far. Uh, I like the outline. I like the uh, the path work we've done so far. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the blue wool or the light blue wool. And I'm going to plan out where we're going to be putting our uh, our different villager houses. So for now, we do have these already in place. Uh, but uh, they're going to get knocked down. I'm not going to keep any of these. So I don't know. I don't really want to knock them down yet because we got to transport those villagers. I don't feel like transporting villagers right now. So we'll take care of that soon. But I'm going to outline at least what I could. But I like the path work. I like this. We're going right here from our gatehouse, kind of curving around to the wall side. This kind of cuts back this way. We got our main path going this way to go to that tower. This path goes to the center of town over here. This kind of branches out and goes around to the side. This goes around this direction and goes towards that little area, which is really, really cool. Now to uh, to decide where to put the houses. And also I got a bunch of signs so we can then label them uh, what kind of villager house we want there. Check this out. I have it all planned out. So let me go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a tour. I have everything all lined up in our light blue wool. All the villager professions are in place. Let me know what you think of these outlines. So right here, as you come on in, boom, right here, we got ourselves the cleric. I'm gonna make a little chapel right here, and it's a really cool little outline. And all this wool for now is just temporary. It, we could definitely modify it. It's nothing set in stone, but at least we have a little bit of an idea, and we have this planned out, which is really cool. So the cleric right here. When you turn over here, this one is gonna be the Fletcher. So we got the Fletcher right here, and then we have this little like wall, so you can kind of practice your, um, your bow skills in the back area, which is really cool. Next to the cleric on this side, we're gonna have the librarian. So we're gonna have a nice little library set up right here. And the path is gonna take you around and then we have ourselves our shepherd. And in the back here, we're gonna have a little uh, sheep pen, which is really, really cool. Uh, coming down here, down this path, we're gonna have a leather worker, fully diagonal leather worker building here. And then coming down this area, we're gonna have our farmer. Uh, I was debating whether or not to put the farmer here because technically our farm is out there, <laughs> but uh, we can have like a self-sustaining farm inside the wall. So I'm thinking a farmer right here, really cool diagonal building over here. And we're gonna play with the terrain and maybe have kind of like a, almost like stacked up little crop fields over here. Uh, but then down here we have ourselves, you guessed it, you know it's here. The fisherman right here next to this little water source. And I'm thinking about going and knocking down uh, a big hole here and connecting the river to go from here to the other side. And we can do some playing around with terraforming. Also, we gotta connect the river this way because it kind of stops there, but uh, we'll play around with that. That's gonna be a really cool project. Now, coming down this direction, check this out. This is the perfect spot for our stone mason right underneath of uh, this hill. We can terraform this really nicely, but what I'm thinking about, kind of doing like a mountain house, uh, kind of tucked in, nestled inside this area, kind of terraform this a little bit so we can have this all nice and snug up in here and then have like a little stone mason workshop kind of thing on the outside. That is like the perfect spot, right? We can even do some stuff there. Oh man, I, you know what? And I'm a mountain house professional, I got this. Uh, and then over here, well, we do have our uh, town center. It's gonna make look pretty. Uh, over here, we're gonna have our armor. So we're gonna have this armor uh, spot here, little baby blacksmith looking thing. Uh, this one over here is the uh, the toolsmith. So we got the toolsmith and the armor kind of side by side, which is really awesome. Uh, and then coming down this direction, we're gonna have our cartographer right here in this corner, a little bit of a semi-diagonal. Uh, and then we have a lot of open space. I'm thinking where we have the open spaces, we can have a lot of nature spots, maybe little parks. Uh, it doesn't have to be all houses, right? Uh, so then over here, we have ourselves, which was this one? Uh, we already saw the armor. Then over here, this is gonna be our butcher shop uh, and then back here we can have like a mini animal pen too so we can have the animals close by and then chop 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 in there right okay uh, and then uh, coming down this way I had to do it I had to do it we have our knitwood house kind of hidden in the back <laughs> this is really really cool I never made a knitwood house so uh, we'll make this one kind of silly looking uh, and I think that's it uh, over here this is gonna be like our main area so technically the castle is my house okay that's where i reside so i'm not i didn't lay anything down there we'll do a separate um video just for the outline of what that's gonna be but as the sun is going down what do you guys think of this plan hopefully you guys are excited let me know down below in the comment section out of all these villager profession houses which one are you the most hyped for let me know in the comment section maybe on the next episode we can set up the walls maybe the gatehouse before we get into the building and let me know which one do you want me to do first let me know in the comment section out of all these which villager profession should we do after we do the walls i think we should do the walls next and the gatehouse 
What do you think? Yeah? All right. I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for all the support on this series. Let me know what you think. Are you hyped up for the return of the single-player world? Let me know. All right. I'm out. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode. Goodbye. See you by the aerial. That's my girl.